Sagittarius singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascension's Tarot. My name is Angela. And the overall energy for your reading is the tower. Okay, so something's coming to an end. Something is coming to an end and this has been a very confusing time for you, Sagittarius. All right, because this obviously involves a three-party situation. You know, we got the three of swords here. We got the devil card. Mm, we got the karma card. A lot of this got three cards with, okay, now four with three people in them. She got the six of pentacles in reverse also. So yeah, this is a three-party situation and someone's leaving as indicated here by the tower. Okay, again, a lot of confusion around what's going on because someone's keeping a cloud of confusion around you. All right, so this week it's coming down to decision making. So let's see. Yep, high priestess in high, I'm sorry, not high priestess. It's the high priest in this deck, but that's the hierophant in reverse. Like there are breakups. That and the tower here in judgment to me, an end. An end of a marriage, an end of a long-term situation. And with the Nine of Cups, this is making someone happy, okay? Six of Wands, okay, so some things are about to change. You're about to get the attention and the accolades that you deserve, that you've been waiting for. Something is about to change in your situation, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords in reverse, you're healing from this heartbreak that happened. King of Pentacles, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that we're talking about, or this could be your chart placement. We also have Temperance, so this is also you, Sagittarius. This could be you taking on your own energy, but it looks like you've been patient, um, or you haven't been patient. You're like you're you're getting antsy about things because of this confusion. There's this feeling of uncertainty, a lack of healing, and you feel you felt like you're. Your significant other, the one, you know, the one that's coupled, because keep in mind, third party situation, there is a coupled side and there is a single side, which you are obviously on. Um, but it looks like when you were coupled with this person, the common denominator in the situation, it was a situation where um, you didn't feel like this person was willing to put in the effort. Could have been a cancer. And we got a cancer here again with the high priestess in reverse. So I'm seeing that things are a bit upside down because this is a couple, the high priestess and the high priest. And, you know, someone's not seeing eye to eye. And things just, um, someone's headed for divorce or separation. Everything's upside down. I got the tower. So definitely there's an ending of a marriage, ending of a situation. I'm also seeing three people here, all in reverse. Um, the high priest and then the two women here. So something's coming to an end. Someone's really focused on their finances and career because someone could be moving, changing locations with the chariot. I'm also seeing the fool card. You have a lot of major arcana Sagittarius. So there's a lot of changes that are getting ready to take place in your life most of them positive it looks like if you've been waiting for someone to remove themselves from a third party situation i'm saying that it's taking place you've gone through a lot of heartache probably a scorpio for some of you because i just saw the death card you've gone through a lot of heartache and a lot of disappointment a lot of disappointment in this relationship and it looks like you're over it you got the star card too. So Aquarius, wow. Major arcana after major arcana after major arcana. This is a situation that you lost hope in. And there was a lack of healing, a lack of forward movement. But with the chariot, I'm saying that things are about to move forward. You're going to see evident change, especially with the tower being the overall energy. This is severe, like really mind-blowing change something that you've been waiting for and we've got the death in reverse so scorpio situation in your life with this person 
that you didn't want to come to an end because you saw a soulmate connection here. So you're healing from this time of anxiety, this time of worry. And with the world card, yet again, another major arcana. You're about to see forward movement. Success, for some of you, it means travel. Now, in the past, this was a situation where you had to pay attention to the red flags. Maybe even, you know, to the current moment. You're paying attention to the red flags because there was a lot of things that were giving you pause. And so you decided to release this situation and let it go. But still, you are emotionally attached to this person. Again, completion and the tower endings and someone's coming back to recover the situation with the six of wands as well someone's about to come and give you the time energy and attention that you've been waiting for and hoping for and this also indicates travel as well you've got the lover's card could be a gemini and it looks like someone's about to make a head over heart decision where someone was confused before and unsure and uncertain, you know, and they were bringing trickery to the table. I'm seeing someone is coming forward now to make a decision. You know, this was a three-party situation. And for some of you, we got the King of Pentacles. Um, some of you could be working hard financially at work. Or some of you may have lost a job. But I'm seeing that things are going to go well for you at work. So if you lost a job and you're feeling defeated, something ended um, relationship, I'm sorry, financial wise, you know, career wise, I'm saying a change in career that which could involve travel. So, okay, things were kind of up in the air before things were could be. Yeah, a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. Again, that's what I'm getting here. Just uncertainty about where things were headed. So things are about to become solid. Ooh, in this soulmate relationship, things are about to solidify. Okay, someone's ready to come out of conflict. Someone's regaining their confidence in the relationship. So I'm seeing that you're now able to get some rest, you know, because this was a situation where you were constantly thinking about things, you know, to the point of staying up. Ooh, okay, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but... While I see it, I see retirement and I see the Ace of Pentacles and I see abundance. So maybe some of you are retiring your career. Okay, and you're looking forward to the future with your partner, maybe traveling. For others of you, someone is retiring a relationship. Because that's also what I'm seeing with the Tower card. Yep, someone's leaving. Someone's making a decision this week. <sighs> yeah, without a doubt, someone has reached a fork in the road. Someone's definitely been spying. Oh, and I'm seeing that very soon, uh, if I can reach over there, very soon, you're going to see the evidence of things changing. Okay. Okay. And things are going in your favor. When they it didn't seem like it in the beginning, or for quite some time, things have been in a state of stagnation. I'm seeing forward movement. I'm seeing communication back and forth, quick and swift, unexpected communication out of the blue. Where someone had given up on a situation. Okay. And I'm seeing... Oh, Okay. Okay, so I'm sorry. I was still shuffling and I saw some cards pop out and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put those in because I get overzealous sometimes and I jump all over the story, but I'm, I'm going to calm down for a little bit. Let's see. I'm seeing Capricorn here, the shadow side that represents the devil card in this deck. So I'm saying that someone didn't see a future here in the relationship, but now someone does. Okay, could be a Leo here for some of you. We have the strength in reverse. Someone's um, releasing themselves from a relationship, Virgo, for some of you with the Hermit card. 
Mm. Some of you have not moved on from this person and they haven't moved on from you. But the issue in the past is that they came up as the Knight of Wands. This is someone that was not serious about a relationship in the Three of Cups in reverse. Indeed, there was a third party situation. So yeah, someone's definitely leaving. And I'm seeing for some of you, it's safe for you to love. And some of you will open your heart. Okay, because you're realizing this could be the one. I'm seeing that, you know, there's trust issues here between you and this person. And with the judgment card, it comes up as it's called karma in this deck. But this is the judgment card. This is talking about second chances and rebirth of a, of a relationship. In the sun card, things are going to be happy again. Ten of Wands is like someone's walking away, leaving something behind, taking their things and leaving a situation. It's not the literal meaning of this card, but that's what I'm seeing when I look at it. Yeah, I'm seeing that you didn't feel nurtured. You didn't feel loved in this relationship. Yeah, even you and this partner didn't see eye to eye in the past. This could be the father of your children, the mother of your children. Yeah, I'm seeing some of you may share children and um, this person has been emotionally distant from you, unwilling or unable to make a decision. I'm saying they're about to release themselves from whatever was keeping them stuck. And with the five of swords in reverse, someone's about to let go of conflict. Yep, someone is leaving a situation. You've got multiple cards talking about someone's leaving. Okay. So I'm feeling like you accepted this situation for quite uh, quite a long time, but now there's about to be forward movement. There could be some fear that's invoked once you see things start to progress and move forward. Maybe some of you will be in fear of this change, abrupt change, because again, you have a lot of major arcana. Even like I said, your central energy is a major arcana. So, and this is yeah. This is pretty intense, the tower. So you're going to feel this change. It's definitely going to be sudden and unexpected. So, yeah, I'm saying that someone's ready to come out from being left out in the cold and bring this relationship back together. Oh, this is destined and fated events that's taking place here. So I'm seeing... That because this is destined and fated, it's going to be necessary for the for you to take care of yourself in the meantime, if you decide to wait for this to play out. Well, with the tower, again, this is going to be sudden, so I don't see a long wait here. Take care of yourself. Get rest. Take care of yourself and focus on what makes you happy. Take care of you because you deserve love. And again, I'm seeing very soon changes are taking place. Destined and fated events are coming together. So in the meantime, love yourself first. I'm also seeing an abundance, an abundance of love coming your way. Twin flame, soulmate relationships coming together. I say twin flame because I... The, the uh, central energy card that I pulled for you says past life. So this is a past life partner, like a part six partner. Transformation is taking place. I'm sorry, past six. I'm sorry. Let me concentrate. I'm jumping all over the place. Listen to your intuition. Allow your intuition to be your guide. Someone's about to definitely make a choice. Someone was very uncertain before and now they're coming forth to make a choice, to make a decision. A decision about a partnership. For some of you, this is job related. Partnerships and alliances. Victory and success in whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's relationship or career. There was temptation that led this person astray they're coming back and that's where love begins the number one at the top and these cards are coming out one behind the other okay shadow so someone is having to face their fears that's what i was getting yes i feel like someone's afraid of change someone's going to be afraid of this sudden change um 
or maybe just a fear of the unknown because of the confusion that's around, you know, because things have been in limbo for quite some time. You know, definitely a fork in the road has been placed. But yeah, fear of the unknown is what I'm getting with this. When someone's having to face their fear. Mm, spiritual union. Twin flame. Soulmate relationship. Things are destined to come together. The nine of cups. This is something you've been wishing and hoping for. Oh, nine of pentacles. This is something solid. It's like someone can see it, uh, really see a future together. So things are moving forward. And you got the chariot card, which talks about forward movement. Ace of Pentacles and the Fool card. New beginnings, forward movement, travel. Someone could be traveling at a distance to come and see you, to come talk to you. Again, sudden change. Something that's unexpected is taking place. So yeah, you weren't waiting for your ships to come in. You weren't waiting. You weren't feeling like there was going to be any change in this situation. But here it comes. Page of Cups. Here comes a message of love. Yeah, someone's definitely spying. Yeah, I'm saying that you're having this feeling of uncertainty because you don't know where you stand in this relationship. And you felt like your partner was a bit inconsistent and unreliable. Someone's about to come back to admit that they're in love with you. Could be a Pisces. Someone's secrets have been revealed. Or there's just some uncertainty, some doubts here that are going to be released. You're tired of the on-again, off-again relationship. Ooh, and at the bottom of this deck that I shuffled for your overall energy is inner wisdom says you know let I me mean, focus in so that you can see it says you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay okay so trust your inner wisdom that's what like i was saying earlier when intuition popped out listen to your intuition okay especially because this is a spiritual union you, your intuition is guiding you that four of wands, this is about to become something stable, moving in together, changing locations. Um, yeah, someone's about to come out and confess how they feel. Mm, so this is you. You're single right now. I'm seeing someone else is about to become single. And this is someone from your past. Like I said, someone that you possibly have children with. So your ex is about to release themselves in order for the two of you to have a new start. Wiping the slate clean with the magician. No more uncertainty. No more of things being in limbo. Someone's ready to take action. Okay, could be a Libra. You're tired of all the injustice. And with the five of cups in reverse, someone's coming back. Coming back from the past. A situation that you felt was all lost. Because you're on a break right now. And communication is either scarce or non-existent. And yeah, there's some resentment here, but it looks like you, the two of you are going to work it out. This is someone that didn't, that was uncertain in the past, but now they've, they've made a decision. Okay, this is someone that was a bit isolated emotionally, emotionally unavailable. You could have been praying for a change. Listen to your intuition. This is destined and, fate and fated events. Someone's situation is at an impasse. This three part, the couple, they're at an impasse. And it looks like the two of you are going to come together to work this out because someone's given up. Giving up on a situation. So that is what I'm seeing. Sagittarius, that's what I'm seeing coming in for you. Likely in the month of January, everything plays out different at different times. Because again, this is destined and fated events. Things have to change and be put in place in order for things to come together. And that happens at different times for everyone. But I'm seeing in the near future, it did say very soon. Can't quite put my finger on it for everybody about when Everything will come together because that's, like I said, that's different for everyone. 
But yeah, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so everything may not resonate with everyone. But yeah, victory and success. I'm seeing in your business, in your finances, in your love life. Yeah, some, some of you didn't know which decision to make for your career, okay? Because there could have been many candidates Someone was uncertain maybe about what the, the direction of their career. But I'm seeing that that's going to take place. Different changes are going to take place there as well. Because whatever it is, it's like God is on your side. It's all coming together. All right, so let's go ahead and pull a final advice card for you. Okay. Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Sagittarius singles for the month of January? One more shuffle for Sagittarius singles for this soulmate twin flame relationship, Holy Spirit. I feel like that card wanted to come out, but I'll keep shuffling. Okay, we got one flyer. Divine Order. See if I can get this to focus in. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Okay, so everything is happening in your life right now according to divine timing. Again, like I said before, there's a need to take care of yourself. Focus on you in the meantime. Get some rest. Yeah, become the best version of you that you can because everything, destined and fated events are coming together. So this is someone that wasn't sure what they wanted in the past, but now I'm seeing victory and success in the outcome. All right, Sagittarius. Oops, let's take a look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs this week, Sagittarius. But I'm seeing change Especially with the tower card being your central energy, change is taking place this week and in the month of January. All right, Sagittarius. Well, this concludes your reading. If you're interested in booking me for a personal reading, you can go directly to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can also reach out to me on the Instant Go app. And the, my profile is below. The link to my profile is below in the description box as well. So let that be for something that's simple. If you have a simple question to ask me, go ahead and send that. Um, text me, rather. Don't call. Text me on the Instant Go app, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Um, but yeah, if it's something pretty intense, you'd be better off with a personal reading. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.